The issue I want to talk to you about today is brain damage in pro football. And I want you to know right away that the source of the information I'm giving you, most of the source of the information I'm giving you, comes from an article by Malcolm Gladwell in the October 19th issue of The New Yorker. You may know Malcolm Gladwell from a very famous book called The Tipping Point. Uh, he's really one of the most famous writers in America today. His article is titled simply Offensive Play, but it has the uh, sentence under the title, is football any better than dogfighting? Well, dogfighting brings up Roger Vick's name right away, uh, but the article is really not about dogfighting. It's about a certain type of brain damage uh, that is very familiar in the sport of boxing. It's called chronic traumatic encephalopathy, uh, or otherwise known as CTE. Everybody knows and appreciates that boxing has this incredibly damaging effect on the brain, uh, that there are many so-called punch-drunk former fighters. Uh, Muhammad Ali, the most famous fighter in the history of boxing, uh, is a very good example of this. And so we've come to accept it. We don't think it's right necessarily, but we've come to accept it. Fewer, far fewer people know that football is actually creating the same phenomenon and at the same rate. The retired football players from the NFL are showing an enormous uh, uh, incidence of CTE. In fact, CTE, dementia, and Alzheimer's are happening at a rate six times faster with the veteran NFL player than they are for the general public. I guarantee you, Roger Goodell already, the NFL commissioner is already putting attention on this. There will be more and more attention on it in the future, and I will follow up on this story uh, for all of you who are interested.